I am tired of dealing with complicated and insecure content management system. Look no further than Plon, the free and open source CMS that has been trusted by organizations like NASA and the FBI. Who uses Plon? Corporate websites. Plon can be used to create and manage websites for businesses of all size, including e-commerce and online marketplaces. Intranets and extranets. Plon can be used to create secure internal portals for organization, providing access for information, files and resources for employees, partners and stakeholders. For education institutes. Plon can be used by schools, colleges and universities to manage and publish educational content such as course materials and research papers. Government Plon is a popular choice for government agencies and non-profit organizations to create and manage their online presence, including publishing important information to the public. Scientific Research Plon can be used to manage and publish scientific researches, providing an easy-to-use platform with the researchers to share their findings with the world. Collaborative Work Plon can be used as a collaborative tool, allowing teams to work together on a project and share files, ideas and tasks. Here are a few reasons why you should consider using Plon. Security. Plon has a strong reputation for being highly resistant to attacks. So, you can be confident that your website and its data will be secure from hacking and other threats. Customization. Plon is highly customizable and extensible. So, you can easily add new functionalities to your site by installing add-ons or plug-ons or by even creating custom modules. Scalability. Plone is designed to handle large and complex websites with ease. So, it's a great choice for businesses and organizations of all sizes. Easy of use Plone's intuitive and user-friendly interface makes it easy for non-technical users to create and manage content. Community-driven Plone has a highly active and engaged community, so you can get help with the technical issues. Also, you can share your experiences with other users and find new add-ons and plugins for your site. We at Cyprosis has taken the flexibility of Plone a step further by creating an installer that makes the installation process easier. Our installer makes it easy for the users to get started with Plone quickly and efficiently also without having to navigate with complicated setup procedures. With our installer, you can focus on creating and managing content rather than spending hours on configuring and troubleshooting with CMS. Okay guys, so here is the Git repo where you have the complete step towards the installation process. You can see all the steps here and you can see how to use the installer here. So the first step is to go and create a folder in the desktop. So here I'm creating a new folder and naming it as clone. So you can give any name, okay? So I'm naming it as clone, and then you have to open it. So now we are inside the uh, folder. Now go back to the page, which is the Git repo and copy the first link, okay? You can see the step one, you have to copy that. And then go to the folder, then right click there and open the terminal inside the folder. Now you have to paste it there, okay? So I'm pasting the first step here. Okay, so after pasting it, enter and let's wait. So as you can see, the unified installer has come inside the folder. Okay, now let's go back to the repo and here we have the step 2. So I'm copying the step 2 here, which is to add execute permissions to the installer. So now let's uh, copy, I mean paste it in, uh, inside the terminal. Okay, so I've pasted that as well. Now after that, you have to click on the installer. So once you click on the Plon Unified Installer, you'll get such a window and click on the Install button. So here you have to set the installation directory. So I'm setting it as the directory which I've created. Okay, you can create a slash and you can create a subfolder inside the Plon folder. So I'm creating a folder called Instance and clicking on Next. So as you can see, the Instance folder has come there. Now you have to enter the password. So I'm entering our password. Okay. So you have to enter your system administrative password. After entering the password, click on next. Okay. So you have to set a plan administration password. So you can set whatever password you need. Okay. So here is the option to create a password. And after that, you have to click on next. And then you can see the packages are being installed. Okay. 
So actually this takes a little bit time. Okay, this takes a lot of time. You have to be patient and wait for it. Okay, so each of these packages are getting installed. Let's wait. As you can see, uh, the installation has completed. Okay, so here's a window which says Plon 6.0.2 Classic has successfully installed. Okay, and you can see, you know, what all things you have to know next and all is given inside the folder. Now, after this, you have to click on done. Now, you have the log here. So, inside the log, you can see what all packages have been installed, what all processes have been taken place and all. Okay, so you can open it and see the details. So, I'm closing it right now. And then, you have the instance here. Open the instance. So, inside the instance also, you can see the folders which have been created. Now, open the terminal inside the instance. Okay, then you have to type bin build out. So, this is actually to ensure everything is installed successfully. So, as you can see, uh, the updating instances and all has come. And then you have to add bin instance fg. Okay, enter it. So, here you can see the serving on 8080. So, you have to open the Chrome. And then you have to give localhost 8080. So, Plone is running in 8080. So, I'm typing localhost 8080. And click on enter. So, here you have your Plone. Okay. So, you can click on create a new Plone site. And you can add the username as well as the password. Okay. If you want, you can save it for further logging in. And then here's your site. So, click on create plan site. So, here we have a plan site. So, this is how you install the plan using our installer. So, it's that simple.